What's good, Blast Up Podcast? Welcome back to Children's Boy Jared. <sighs> Y'all, I want you guys to look at this. And saying wait for marriage to be intimate again. Nobody who had had sex recently. No one attracted to their ex. I don't know. Something's telling me red flag about this. I'm literally getting red flag beacons all over the place. Let's see what's going on. Hello? Hi. Oh my god. It's a skinny ass Rasputian. Oh my Jesus. <laughs> oh no. Oh hell! <laughs> Meet y'all in hell. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> How are you? Good. What's your name, baby? It's no way that nobody pushed the um the request button. Everybody on here. So I'm, I heard you say that, and I'm like, I'm not. No, I think I, I had the. I had to. T- I, I took something off, and then I put it back on. So it could have been the second. <laughs> Are you ready to find love, baby? I mean, I am. So I'm like, I'm, I might as well push the request button. So, yeah. Where are you calling us from? Arizona. What? Are you in a grocery store? Where are you at? Um, I'm, I'm waiting for my list. I'm in a chicken store. Uh, oh, the- Bitch, that is church's damn chicken. Chicken store? Who else calls churches a chicken store? Ain't that a restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> do y'all call Chip, bro? Like somebody said in the comments, do y'all why? Why y'all call Chip Fil A by his first bit on the last name Chick Fil A, and y'all call Church's Chicken a chicken damn store? <laughs> when I hear chicken store, I'm thinking of a fucking butcher. The chicken store ain't that something? Hey, maybe <laughs> maybe I'm bullshit, but damn. And this woman like she didn't put damn Kool Aid packets in her fucking head. <gasps> the chicken store. What's your name, baby? Yes. Why name? Bring the phone. Excuse me. Bring the phone in your face. Not like that. How do you spell your name? W H Y N E. Why name? Why name? Yes. Why name? Who in the hell is naming these damn kids this shit? <laughs> Bruh. Who the fuck is naming these kids this shit? Like, what, what the fuck is going on? Wane, Arizona, yes. how old are you? 29. 29, what do you do for a living? Um, housekeeper and a child care provider. Okay. She ain't got a job. Do you have any kids yourself? No, ma'am. Okay. What's the zodiac sign? Aries. Mm. And a child care provider? Yes, ma'am. Never married, right? No. All right. So we got YNA, Arizona, 29, Aries, housekeeper, child care provider. What? Lesbian. (laughs) Thank God she she ain't looking for a brother. Thank God she she ain't looking for a brother. Lord, thank God. Oh, my Lord, thank you. You didn't save all of us a damn headache. <laughs> you didn't say all of us a headache. <laughs> thank you. Sisters, this one's for y'all. <laughs> all right, what kind of woman are you looking for? I had to throw that out there, right? You were shocked. <laughs> what kind of woman are you looking for, girl? I had to throw that out there. Um... Just somebody who's God fearing, um, just living a life. Um, a God fearing lesbian. I mean, <laughs> if we if we stick to the scriptures, I mean, that's ungodly. So, I mean, if you look at it a certain way, you just you just bullshit on that. Got they priority straight. No exes, maybe one or two kids. I won't, I don't mind. But then if you have kids, that means you're not fully lesbian. Um, Are but I don't want to be bisexual. I don't, mm-mm, no bisexual. 
I don't want to be just meant to. So, yeah. No bisexual. Okay. No. Okay. I mean. I mean, if she has multiple kids by multiple different men, I mean, she likes dick, but some studs be out here getting broke down. So, I mean, really? I mean, some studs do be getting broke down. So, what the hell is she talking about? I'm open, though. I'm open. Okay. Yes. Juanay, Arizona, 29. Huh? I didn't say nothing. Okay. What are, what are some other deal breakers besides being bisexual? I can't hear you. You're falling out. Hygiene, bad breath. Um, if you just had sex within a month or two, I'm cool. I've been celibate for a minute, so yeah. Let's rewind that back, shall we? I can't hear you. You're falling out. Hygiene, bad breath. Um, so you be fucking with bitches that don't be washing their ass or brush their teeth? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ladies, wash your ass. <laughs> Brush your teeth. If you just had sex within a month or two, I'm cool. I've been celibate for a minute, so yeah. You can't have sex recently. You can't just have sex recently. Okay, you just can't have sex recently. Okay. Okay. I keep looking around because I'm in the skirt waiting for my look, y'all. Do she? Y'all be so nosy. Lori. Do she gotta look a certain way? Mm mm. Along she's along she's pretty, fine, gorgeous. What if she has the same standard for you? I mean, I'm not trying to judge, <laughs> but um, <laughs> you're looking like a little boy. <laughs> I mean, okay. Inside and out, not just outside. Pretty fine, gorgeous, inside and out. Inside and out, yes. So she got to make a certain amount of money? Um, no, as long as she take care of herself, her priorities are straight. She's living her life. She's doing her own. Most women's art priorities aren't straight, so that's a rare woman to find in the first place. Own thing. We good. Okay. What about... um? Okay, let's do the kids again. You gotta see your leg. Okay, you look cute. Okay, we see you, boo. Bro, I swear to God, she like a dude. Fuck, let me shut up. <laughs> Fuck, let me shut up. <laughs> Boy, she looking like a dude. <laughs> <laughs> work clothes, work clothes. <laughs> okay, let's see. Wane, we got Wane. Because it's hot as fuck in Arizona. It's hot as fuck in Arizona? Yeah. It's not the state for me. I would be, I'm originally from Philadelphia and not only been in Arizona for a month, but I would originally be moving. It's not for me. It's not. Yeah. It's not for her. Okay. Mm -mm. okay. So you didn't. So you decided to move to Arizona, and you didn't think to damn fucking go out there and visit one time before you moved your ass out there. 
So we talking about somebody that wants somebody with their priorities straight. Meanwhile, you ain't got no damn priorities. You just doing stupid ass shit thinking it's going to work. Ma'am, you got a plan for shit. And you, you say you want a woman that's got her life together. Well, she live in Arizona. You go be out there in that hot ass sun. Shit, you already, your hair already look like it's fried. You getting that sun, that shit going to burn off. It ain't gonna be cri- it's gonna be crispy. It's gonna be crispier than that damn chicken behind you. <laughs> Let me chill. Oh my god. So when was your last relationship? You said the woman can't have any um has a do in a very long time. So I've been celibate for five years and I've been single five years. Okay. So are you waiting for the right I'm waiting for marriage. I'm waiting for marriage, yeah. So you're waiting for a marriage? Yeah. You act like you've been celibate from you act like you've been celibate from dangling. Like you acting like you've been fucked by dudes. But you talking about you've been celibate. I mean, ain't being a lesbian celibacy in the general? Cause let's be honest. Some lesbians get sick of them that plastic ass um Dildo they be playing with. I mean, there there's some staunch lesbians out there. I'm hey, if y'all hey, I'm sorry, I'm had to call it like it is. Some of y'all do be wanting something warm and that actually works and that actually extends and contracts and actually pulsates. I mean, I'm not trying to sit here and say no bullshit and lie, but we men know the truth. We know the truth. Not saying that's all, but there's 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 a number of them out there. We can't be particularly too sure, but I mean, I mean, y'all want to have on this conversation? There is some lesbians that be wanting something that's warm, that's real, that's not plastic, that flexes and moves. I mean, if if. if <laughs> If if we um if if we if we go if, if we gonna be honest. Okay, so now you said nobody recently. So what's recent? I mean, you five years. So she has somebody. If, if she has sex with somebody this year, does she qualify? This year? Um, it's just yeah, girl. We in August. It's been eight months. If she's not. I just you don't gotta want see no, your face, honey. I just don't want nobody who's still want no attached to their exes. A lot of people are still attached to their exes. I don't need that. I mean, I understand that, but you know that. Okay, so when's the last time she can have sex? Did I have sex? That the woman can have sex. It's not. I was just being funny, Kendra. She just. I just don't want nobody attached to their ex. Because if you're attached to their ex, that means y'all still fucking. What's the number one reason that lesbian relationships break up? Infidelity, not being, uh, not feeling, feeling like they're not, uh, they're not seen in a relationship. Um, abuse. Aren't those the reasons why lesbian relationships don't work out? So, can I just say, can I just ask a question? And I want you guys to comment down below. If a woman keeps cheating on her female partner, keeps trying to find something different, don't they usually end up cheating with a man? So in reality, y'all still want that. Like I said, this is not all. So don't get it. At, don't take it as I'm trying to see and say all lesbians are like this. But I'm just saying, there's there's a percentage out there. I can't exactly tell you the percentage, but we all know that this shit is true. So I mean. Um, 
Do you really think that woman's gonna be real faithful to you? I don't want that. Oh, you're getting in your lift right now. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, she's getting in her lift. Okay, she did tell us at the top of the her interview she's waiting for her lift. Okay, we're almost done. Um, three flaws you have to work on. Procrastinating patience. So procrastinating patience. And being picky. All right. Yeah. And why would a woman be lucky to be with you? Um, because I'm very fun. I'm loving. I'm caring. I'm everything you would want. I detect a lie. I detect the lie right here. Ma'am, I think you full of shit. Because if you've been single for five years and you're talking about you're everything that somebody wants, I believe you are capping. Can the church and the congregation say amen to that? Because the fact that you've been single for not one, not two, not three, and not even four, but five years. You actually believe that you're everything that somebody wants, and your history is proven that your dumb ass ain't what people want. I'm sorry, I couldn't keep that voice up. That shit hurts. <laughs> Can't do it. Even a man. Um... I just haven't found that person. But you don't want a man. I'm I'm just being funny. When you when you're when you when you believe in God and things like that, you know God put men and women on earth for a reason. So I think like that still. I still have that mindset, then though I know God and things like that. So. But I am attracted to women. What I'm saying is men attracted to me, but I'm attracted to women. You know what I'm saying? I got you. Yeah. All right, so we got one day. Arizona, 29 Aries, housekeeper, child care provider, no kids, um, women only. What's the age range you would date? I'm um, 30 and up. 30 and up. And you prefer a woman that doesn't have any kids? I prefer a woman that doesn't have any kids, but um, I'm open. Yeah. All right. Are you on the Kendra G Singles dating app? I am. Okay. okay, let me find you on the app, girl. What's your name on the app? Um, my name, W-H-Y-N. Well, wait, 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 W-H-Y. W-H-Y-N-E. N-E. W-H-Y-N-E. Here she is. Here she goes. <laughs> we see you, my name. Yeah, ain't no way. All I'm saying is this. Wane is about to be single. Ain't nobody about to deal with this shit. I mean... <sighs> ladies, y'all have to realize that a lot of the shit that comes out of y'all mouth is it's not worth it. A lot of y'all believe that y'all are worthy of a good woman. Like that. And then y'all y'all figure out shortly that y'all not really that special. Sorry to say it. But um Wane about to be single, y'all. She about to be single as hell and she about to be mad as a motherfucker. Cause whatever woman chooses her ain't gonna be worth shit. But anyways guys like, share, subscribe. Oh, hold up. Wait a minute before I end this video. I'm going to be stating this in the next few videos. Any of my Kendra G videos that I do, I'm going to be posting it in the membership. And I'm also be posting it on Patreon. Because there's a certain subsect of people that... Eh... 
not a certain subset, but just a certain caliber of people that love to sit here and say, I hate black women and I'm particularly getting tired of it. So I'm just going to go ahead and just say, if you guys want to become a member, please do. If you guys want to become a Patreon supporter, please do. That's why I'm going to be posting my Kendra G videos. And I'm also going to, and I'm going to just say this, the more popular Kendra G videos, I'm going to be posting on there. So I'm going to still be posting free content, but just for the most part, all the good content that I do through Kendra, about Kendra G videos is going to be behind the membership paywall and it's going to also be behind Patreon's paywall. So which one, whichever one you want to do, please do. But I will be, I will be doing that. So members. Y'all going to be getting, y'all going to be getting, you know, y'all going to be getting this specifically. And if you guys want to know the memberships uh, through YouTube, technician is $2.99, specialist $6.99, and builder status is $14.99, but to access the Kendra D videos is only $3.99, and on Patreon three dollars so it's on patreon the three um the three memberships are let me pull it up because this is what the fuck hold on on patreon the memberships are if i can find the damn thing hold on Hold up. Black Star Pod. Okay. So on Patreon, the mem on Patreon, the official Patreon is three. All access Patreon, ten dollars, and VIP status is twenty. So that will be where this content of mine is going to be going but i do thank each and every one of you guys for actually supporting the podcast thank you guys for listening and i will catch y'all later bye guys if i can stop opening up random shit on my computer all right bye guys